So the first thing I always do is I reply to Etsy messages and then I go on Patreon, reply to messages, comments, all that kind of stuff. And it doesn't look like I have too many Etsy messages today, so hopefully everything doesn't take too long. So I did some laundry last night and that's what I'm doing right now. I'm just folding it. These are towels that I use just for in here. I don't use them for anything else. So let's put these away. All right, done. All right, cool. So the first thing on the list today, this is so weird. I can't, you guys can't see me. I, I don't know where to put you. This is much better. So the first thing on the list today is actually, uh, I need to package up these two serums that have just been like chilling because they do take a little bit to hydrate all of the hyaluronic acid in them. This lighting is awful. So yeah, the hyaluronic acid does take a long time to hydrate when you're making like a batch about this size. This is a 400 gram batch of my 0.5% lactic acid serum, I'm pretty sure. Yes. 0.5%, it says it on top. The hyaluronic acid takes a lot longer to hydrate than just 24 hours and you need to come back and like mix it up periodically. I always recommend when you make larger batches of something with hyaluronic acid that has to hydrate, specifically the high molecular weight hyaluronic acid. Mine is the 1-1.5 million Daltons. I always recommend using it in like a big container. Even though I only made 400 grams, I made it in a 1000 milliliter glass beaker. That way it just had more space to hydrate and you'll just have better results that way. So I thought I'd show you guys how I store the labels for my products. I already have a video all about how I make my labels, so I'll link that video down below. But all I do is I actually keep them in this binder right here. And I use these little clear, I don't know what they're called honestly, and then they have like the little pockets. And then I just store all the labels inside and I organize them by product. Like these are all face washes, but I'm gonna go ahead and label one of my retinol serums so I can like take a little group picture for Instagram. That's the plan. All right, so I'm gonna be honest, I'm a little overwhelmed today since this is my first time vlogging. And also this is only my second day TikToking, so I'm trying to get some TikToks done while trying to do all my work, while trying to vlog. So if I just seem like a mess, because I kind of am today. But um, yeah, I'm going to rearrange these like retinol serums here. Just get like a little picture of them, you know? You gotta do it for the Instagram, right? So I really noticed like the trick with Instagram is you don't wanna look like you tried too hard. So I literally just kind of slopped these down just randomly. The more random, the better. And then I'm just gonna hold up this serum like above like this and like take a picture or something like that. I don't know, I've just noticed the less I try with Instagram, I feel like the pictures do better. Like sometimes I'll post a picture on Instagram that I think will do really well and it doesn't do well. And then a picture that I just kind of took randomly that only took two seconds does the best. So that's why I really just don't really try too hard with my Instagram photos at all. I just make sure it kind of looks aesthetically pleasing and clean. That's really the main goal with Instagram. You just want your picture to look clean. That's about it. That's my Instagram tip for today. Okay, I seriously need to make more room for these products because look at how much the retinol serum is overflowing. My eye cream is definitely overflowed because I don't even have enough room for the 0.04% retinol serum once I restock that. So what are we gonna do? I don't know. I guess we'll figure out when the time comes. So the next thing I need to do is actually make some aloe cream and I also need to make some Luna cream because all I have are two ounce jars and I got a couple orders for one ounce jars and I only have one one ounce jar left. So we need to make some one ounce Luna cream and some two ounce and one ounce aloe creams. But before we do that, I actually need to put away all of these because these have been sitting out all night. They're definitely dry by now and we need to baggy those up. Let's do it. So 
So I've got the Luna Cream and the Aloe Moisturizer just chilling in the water bath. They're heating and holding. And I'm in the middle of actually making a TikTok for my Aloe Moisturizer. I hope it turns out well. The next thing I am kind of working on, I actually need to make some matcha toners for a wholesale order. I need to do 24 ounce matcha toners. So I'm gonna start working on that next. But while I'm doing that, I need to get some B-roll for my video I'm working on. It is my preservatives video for my Formulating for Beginner series. I know you guys have all been asking for more videos in that series, and I promise they're coming. They just take a little bit more longer to produce because I, I know these are gonna be videos that I refer people to go back and watch for years to come, and I want them to be really good videos that I'm really proud of, not that I don't want the other types of videos that I make to not be as good. I just really, really want these to be even better than the videos I do now because I do have a lot that I on my plate like every single week so I can't really give every single video I make all the attention that I really want to give but I really want to make sure these videos in this series get all the attention I can possibly provide. They're my most viewed videos honestly and I just really want them to be good videos. So far I have the entire script written out for the preservatives video. It's the blog. I write out the blog to my videos first so I know what I want to say and I actually have this little paper. I don't want you to look at it because it's literally chicken scratch but I went through and read the blog and then like wrote down little things that I want to be visualized as I talk. Instead of me just like sitting down and doing a sit down video I want it to be more exciting than that as opposed to just me sitting down and talking to you guys. I just think that's kind of boring and people can lose attention very quickly that way so I want it to be more like different things happening kind of constantly but not too overwhelming to where you're not processing the information so I have some like b-roll clips I need to record for that video today there's a lot I need to record I won't get to all of it today and I honestly don't even know when this vlog is going to go up because I really want my room tour to go up before my this vlog because then I kind of feel like there's no purpose of the room tour because you can like basically see it all in this vlog. I don't know. So yeah, let's get to making the matcha toner and recording b-roll. Let's do this! remember what the last thing was that I recorded but I got done making all 20 of my toners for my wholesale order and I got my 20 matcha moisturizers and we're gonna package them all up so she ordered 20 toners 20 facial cleansers I can fit 30 of them in the large mailing box, which is this box here. And then I fit the rest in this regional rate box B. I'm pretty sure if I remember correctly, but let's go ahead and package them up. If you would like a more in-depth video on how I package wholesale orders, I'll link down below to my video so you guys can figure out how I do that. So let me get packing. kind of just ended yesterday abruptly that just kind of let you guys hang in but I got everything I needed done I ended up working till about like 9 p.m. I ended up doing a few other things I didn't mention to you guys that I did like I made some matcha moisturizer oh I made a couple more TikToks oh my god <laughs> it's only 12 30 and I've already made six TikToks today but I only published five of them because I felt like I was like making too many TikToks I don't know basically I just pulled back out the camera to tell you guys bye. This was my first vlog. I hope you enjoyed. I'm sorry if it was a little sloppy. I just had a lot going on yesterday between vlogging, making TikToks, posting on my Instagram story, and making products for my Etsy shop. Today is basically just going to be a YouTube day. I'm going to eat some lunch and then edit 
a video that I can hopefully have up on my Patreon by tomorrow, hopefully, so then I can post it on YouTube on Friday because I do do early releases on Patreon at least 24 hours ahead of time. So that's why I need my videos done before the actual day they need posted. So definitely let me know what you guys thought of this vlog. I would love to do more if you guys enjoyed this. Um, I, I'm sorry if I seemed really awkward in this video. I actually feel a lot more comfortable vlogging right now. Let me know if you like this. So that's it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed. Later. At Stardust Bath and Body, Nature's Farm Girl, Kennedy's Essentials, Let's Blend, Wallflower Wildflower, Heartfelt Beauty, KAJ Bath and Body, Lumint Soaps, Salt Air Label, Lenise Beauty, Shark City Naturals, Ohana Lay, Danny Botanicals, at Nino55, K and Cool, Kimpy Girl, Brie Maquillage, Alchemy and Clay, and Bible Belt Boutique. I also sell skincare products myself over on Etsy. My Etsy shop will be linked below along with all my lovely patrons. I'm stuck in the motions I've been consumed by the wrath of time like I'm from I'm shattered in this life It's still the path that I've chosen Because I've had a vision Now I'm on a mission to find myself with